Hi, this is Angela Gurley from AngelaGurley.com. I wanted to share something with you there. Um, it's really incredible when you're not quite sure how to do something and you find a really simple, easy way to do it. And I wanted to share that with you today. Now, I was um, given the slides of a presentation that I wanted to be able to record in my own voice from someone else, but they were given to me in a PDF. And so it's not always as easy to break um, down the slides to record a video and a PDF. And so, as you can see, I have PowerPoint open and you can't easily open a PDF in PowerPoint. You can create a PDF from your PowerPoint slides. But I want to do the reverse, and I'm going to show you this neat little trick that I found to be able to do it. There are several little steps, but once you kind of get rolling, it really moves along. So I want to share that with you right now. So um, what I like to do, because I'm going to make each of the um, slides that are in the PDF the background, I don't want all this writing on here. So what I will do is I will um, over here right click. Uh, oh, sorry. I'll right click over here, do the layout, and I want my slides to be blank. All right, so I know I have about um, 16 slides, so I'm just going to um, do, I'm just going to go ahead and start a few new slides. You can just easily right click. Um, I'm sure there's another shortcut that I don't know, but I'm going to show you about six or seven of these, and then I'll finish the rest up um, off camera. But I just wanted to show you how easy this was. I was really um, very happy about this. So you're gonna come, I'm at slide number one. Um, you could leave it blank. And of course, after you finish it, you can insert slides at the beginning um, of a presentation. If you're wanting to do this as a webinar, or if you're wanting to record this video, you can add a couple personal slides if you would like just to um, let people get to know who you are. Um, there's some other great things that you can do um, with PowerPoint, but that's for another video. So we want to insert into our slide here. And so what's cool is you can do a screenshot. So you can take a screenshot, and you can see I've got several things open right now. But you can do a screenshot of what you want to show or what I was doing was do a screen clipping so maybe I don't want to do the whole screen I just want to do a part so what happens is, is that you can go over to your screen and then as you see it was bright now it dims now you can see watch what happens as I drag this across here and pull it down right it it changed from like a a transparent or opaque to the color of the slide and now i can cut and watch what happens it pops it right in now what i it, it gives you options of how you can let it go in here and if you've cut it well or it's sized correctly you can adjust it and you can make it pop the whole way. Mine's not quite adjusted right. So what I've been doing is I right click my picture. I copy it. And then on my keyboard, you're not going to see me do this, but I hit delete. So now the picture is gone, but it's on my clipboard. So now if I right click, I say format background. And then I'm uh, pick picture and then I go to my clipboard and as you can see it's right there now this picture has been offset a little bit um, here so what I can do is I can adjust it and it might be a little squished but I can adjust it so that it looks um, all laid out properly so let's go and do another one so i will go to insert screenshot screen clipping 
And then I can scroll. Oh, shucks. I am going to have to go back because what I forgot to do, um, I'm just going to have to capture something. See? You're learning what not to do. So what I have to do is go back over here and adjust my next slide into play here, right? Oh, it doesn't want to scroll right. Okay. Um, give me just a second. It can be a little finicky, but man, this is a real not so hard to do. And it just doesn't want to slide with me because these are really the last slides were a little bit more um, open. Okay. So let's go back over here to our PowerPoint because that was something that I needed to do. All right, so we're gonna get rid of that. Now, we're gonna go back to insert, screenshot, screen clipping. Now, here we go. And I'm going to just quickly capture that, right? Then um, that it's cutting off some of my words. So what I'm going to do is um, also if you make the um, you leave it as a picture, it makes your file much larger. When you move the picture to the background, it saves you um, having files too large, especially if you're trying to download it or send it to somebody else. Um, it's more easily shared this way. So we'll go ahead and put it back in here. And it looks like these slides are maybe just a little bit um, bigger. So we'll just adjust it down a little bit and get it um, within. And you can, as you see, you can offset, adjust um, however you like. Now we need to go back over here and we want, let's, do it this way. Let's go to number three. All right, that way we can see the slide right away. So what we're going to do, sorry about that. What we're going to do is go back over here to our PowerPoint and we're going to go to slide number three. Screenshot, screen clipping. It takes us right over here. It goes opaque. As you can see, look how this changes as I drag it down, right? Um, if, you, if you cut it a little big, you can adjust it when you make it the background. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to do um, copy and I do delete. And then I say it's a picture from my clipboard. And again, um, I'm having to adjust for the um, difference in size here just a little bit. And now, as you can see, that slides there. So let's do one more so you can see. All right, this seems to be the easier. I'm just changing the slide number and hitting enter. It seems to be a little bit easier than how I was trying to adjust before. And again, like I said, it's a learning process. You learn something new, you figure it out, right? So now we're going to go to insert. I'm going to do screenshot again, screen clipping. I'm going to go ahead as you, you wait till it goes to the darkness so you can see. All right, it's going to pop in. Um, this one looks good, so, but it's still a picture, so I'm going to copy it. So I want my file, I need, I want to share this with a couple people, so I really want to make it into the background and not an image. All right, as you see, this one loaded perfectly, so um, one more. So we got to go back over here. You can't see this, but I'm going to change that to a five and hit enter. And now you can see it comes right up. Go back to my PowerPoint, insert, screenshot, screen clipping, and it takes me right here because that was the last place I was working on. 
I drag right over. I get the whole slide, it pops it in. Right, all right, we're right clicking, copy, delete, picture, clipboard, and then um, this one's really off, so we have to adjust it a little bit. Maybe it was out. And, you, and if you can see, I got like a little black here, so I can adjust that out by offsetting it just a little bit. So it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just um, have to line it up. And what's great about that is you can add, um, do that here. Now, if you're needing to add something out extra to the slide, you can just do insert, you can go um, to pictures on your screen, you can add shapes, icons, you can add more word art text, um, if there's another, you know, this, these are all slides, but if you needed to add a video, you can do audio, you can even screen record to each slide. So it plays as it gets to each slide, or you can do a live presentation as well. So I hope you found these tips helpful and how to get a PDF, um, slides over to a PowerPoint. So you can do a presentation if you would like to know, um, have other great tips tools or just learn some other family fun from me, go to AngelaGurley.com, put in your name and email, and I will see you on my newsletter. Have a great day.